Slim, why are you posting that and ruining the surprise? Shut up, you f***ing snitch. Don't take this the wrong way, but why do fans ask you for dating advice? It worked for a few fans, so they ask for it. This is an MMA channel, not really a dating show. I don't know. They're allowed to ask for what they want. Thank you for the seven Canadian dollars. Appreciate that. Oh, how about this? Why do you donate asking why people donate and why do things and then complain about them doing it instead of asking an MMA question? This is an MMA channel, not a whiny, complainy simulator from the chat show. Same thing, isn't it? You took up just as much time. I'm the one that whines and complains. But like, you, you know, if you... If you want to ask an MMA question, you just had your opportunity. You clearly don't want this to be an MMA show either. It's kind of true, right? If you really wanted to, you would have just asked an MMA question, but instead you spent seven Canadian dollars to complain about someone else's donation. Thorson Starmer's wife, I don't know. Thank you for the two pounds. It's a strange one, isn't it, mate? But they get away with everything because they're pro-extinction. You on your rag? No, chat has immediately off in the five ways, but I'm good. I'm feeling good today. I did shoulders yesterday, feeling lean today. Got some new mince meat to add to my diet. So I'm going to try that tomorrow. It's going to be pretty good. So yeah, pretty amped. Had my vitamin, vitamin C and collagen drink, and now I'm going to get to my multivitamin as well. As long as you've gone with that food, probably like three days. Don't talk about gym stuff when you're obese. I'm not. I'm probably overweight technically on a BMI thing now, but BMI is and frail. I'm too wide for that. What workouts do you do for shoulders? Military press until they ache, sets of 12, uh, lat raises, face pulls for rear delts. Lat raises for side, and then uh, what's it called? Shrugs at the end. Hit three heads of the shoulder and then do shrugs. Pretty easy. Sets of 12, yeah. Just eat fruit and veg, you child. No, I'll have fruit and veg, but I'm not going to eat it. It's like on a plate. I'll blend it up and drink it. Why can't you just answer honestly three days? Fasting for three days is not difficult. The first day is the only difficult part. Once you fasted for a day, you don't even think about food for the second or third day. It's true. Anyone who's fasted before would know that as well. You fast for a day, you feel a bit hungry, you wake up the next day, you're not even thinking about food. It's not even that difficult. Thank you for the $5. How good do you think Brock Lesnar would have been if he got into MMA in his 20s? Oh, he'd be a Go to the heavyweight division. He wouldn't have lost. Yeah, he wouldn't have lost. Thank you for the $5. Because he could take everyone down already. So if he was more honed to do that, you would do it easier. And then if he had good control time and jujitsu on top of that, he'd probably arm triangle every single person. Just joined. What are your thoughts on RDR signing? I would have loved it four years ago, three years ago. But I don't get it now. That is my opinion on the RDR signing. Um, yeah, he lost twice to, uh, he's coming off a win now. His last fight, he won by knockout actually. Um, but he's coming off two lo losses to Malakin. Um, he had two losses to Malakin and he lost a grappling match to Rotulo, which is not shameful. Beat some good opponents before that, but they easily could have signed him in 2021 when he was a 13 and 0 guy, but. No, they didn't. You know what I mean? Because the UFC just don't know how to talent scout anymore and they're losing out on everyone. Way past his prime and has had his injuries. Yeah, his prime was like 2020 when he was defending champs, beating champs. You know, he went multiple weight divisions and then he tried heavyweight and got f up, basically. And the problem is with the uh, second Malaykan fight is that he quit. That's bad. Why would the UFC sign that? He quit in that fight. I know he was getting beaten up bad, but he literally laid on his back and just quit. Guru, buy a car and post videos of you learning to drive? Never. No, never doing that. Sounds gay. Sounds super gay. No, I'm not buying a car. I've got other things I want to put money into first. 
car is a, a luxury buyer. I've got to do smart things with the money first. Crypto, no property. Yes, because buying a hot tub isn't. It's not as expensive as a car I would want, though, is it? And I needed something to, like, make me feel happy at home. Need new visa rules ASAP in the UK. We got robbed of a Luke Riley contender series welcoming. I told you this before. If I was prime minister of the UK and I knew there was a guy going to represent our country to try and get into the UFC, I'm dropping everything to make sure that he can do it. But yeah, the visa rules in the UK, we're literally losing out on so many prospects. Can't step up on short notice ever. But that's what the UK government wants. Destruction of our people, humiliation on the world stage, no pride allowed. We must be destroyed. Please investigate the scoring. Is It is a rabbit hole. I know, but I don't want to keep going. I've already made a video that proved it, and everyone hated on it because it wasn't a popular take, so they la lashed out about it. Thank you for the $2. We're not going to get into the Yo Mali Marab thing. I know I'm right. It is what it is. Who do you think will headline 310? Uh, Makashev versus Tsurukian. Makashev versus Tsurukian, I think. And then maybe, uh, if not, then maybe Bilal versus Shavkat. But I don't see it happening that soon. And I also see that the Abu Dhabi card could be done in like February as well. So we'll see. Shut the f*** up, Los Nos. I'm not talking about the O'Malley Marab uh, decision all over again in this stream. We've spoken about it for the past five. Shut up. God. Annoying little p Sometimes. You think AJ McKee could beat anyone in the current UFC lightweight top 10? No. No, he can't. No, he absolutely can't. Thank you for the five dollars. Listen, when you see a Bellator fight, when they don't when you don't watch, they have good performances, and then you all tune in to watch and they put on the biggest fight over five rounds you've ever seen. I don't even think he beats Dariush. He could do, but I don't even think he does. Uh, how are we feeling about this card this weekend, Guru? How are we feeling about the card this weekend? I'm feeling pretty good. It is rather enjoyable. It's good. It's a great card. Like, it's underrated. as Like, even the prelims are pretty fun fights. Like, I think it's going to be a scrappy card. You dig? Dude, I don't want to see a Poirier Gaethje trilogy, man. Off, honestly. The isolationism at lightweight has to stop. They do not get this trilogy before the end of the fight. 